Well, Paul, get this. Bees actually help pollinate about $10 billion worth of crops here in the U.S. every single year. Now, in Oklahoma, that means that they help out with watermelon, sesame, as well as cotton. But experts say that they're just one part of the big picture if we want to keep growing all of the crops that you see right here. It's not just the birds and the bees that pollinate Oklahoma crops. Butterflies, regular flies, even bats help put food on our tables. Everyone eats, uh, and we've got to have those pollinators out there doing their job uh, so that we continue to have food production. But there are several problems that are keeping some of those populations down. For example, many people kill milkweed, a major food source for monarchs. Beekeeper Randy Brady's farm is buzzing now, but he has had several of his hives die over the winter. It's hard to say exactly why a hive died. Uh, it, there's just so many factors involved, weather, uh, illnesses in the hive, uh, queen problems. He hopes to have this entire wall filled with bees by the spring. The state is also looking into what effect pesticides and other chemicals have. That's why communication is crucial right now. I found it really easy to, to work with the farmer. If they're going to spray, they let me know. I move my bees or I can close my bees up. Now, there are several public meetings planned over the next two months that you can attend while the Oklahoma Department of Agriculture helps come up with a plan uh, by spring of next year. Now, we have those meeting dates and times that will be posted on our website, koco.com. Reporting live in Oklahoma City tonight, Ariana Garza, KOCO 5 News. Ariana.